Whoa now, look out. A 24 to 10 win over the 49ers? How bad must things be in San Francisco? But unfortunately, it's just the third win of the year for the Browns. They're now 3-10. and 10. No reason to get excited. Of course, you know, I watch, and I'd rather they win the game than lose the game at this point. But and believe it or not, they were in control the whole way. It's not like they just stole some victory at the end. I mean, it could have even been worse early on in the game if they weren't the Browns. Their first few possessions, they could have been ahead a lot more. I think it was 14-3 to 3 at one point, but it seemed like it could easily have been. 17, 21 to 3, 2014, 24 to 3, something like that around there. So on to Manziel, of course, his biggest highlight of the day was probably headbutting that tablet after the awful interception. He tried to throw one of them throws that you get away with in high school and college. Had a nice move scrambling all the way to his left, gets over near the sidelines, and then tries to plant and throw one back to the middle of the field. You know how that goes. He was probably looking for Hartline or Barnage. They were open all day. Travis Benjamin had a catch or two. Barnage got the TD. Manziel with one and one, a TD and an interception. I think he ended up with 270 yards. A lot of quick passes again. A lot of college-looking plays. I like that. The last two starts that he's made, they've done that. Where they just, you know, quickly get the ball out of his hands. A lot of four wide receiver stuff. Don't ask me how Cleveland goes four wide receivers when they don't even have four wide receivers, but... Isaiah Crowell, 145 yards on the day. Got 50 of them on one big carry, but... Yeah, do the math. He still had 95 yards other than that, to even taking away that carry. 145 yards, that's the most yards by a Cleveland running back in about 50 years, it seems like. Probably, I'm, I'm almost sure it's the first guy to go over 100 yards all season. But again, you know, it's the 49ers. They had Blaine Gabbert starting at quarterback, so, you know, he was almost their leading rusher. So that should tell you what's going on. No Carlos Hyde today. 49ers have been hit by injuries just like every team, but, oh, man, I mean, I hope Harbaugh leaves the Wolverines in this condition someday. So there it goes, Cleveland 3-10. and 10. Now they'll probably just win a couple of games, making sure they don't get that first pick. That's how it usually goes in Cleveland land. Patton still there. Manziel looked good enough to say, who knows, maybe he's got a bright future. I'm pretty much officially done with the guy, though. But we'll see. He looks better today than I thought he could. Oh, how about A.J. McCarron getting it done? Oh, they didn't get it done. That's right. The Steelers won the game. Let's go say A.J. McCarron getting it done for the Bengals. Well, this is not a Bengals recap. I'm F. Zappa 20. I'm talking Browns. We just got three games to go, and then this season will come to an end, putting us all out of our misery for about another eight or nine months, whatever the off season is. All right, guys, that's it. What is this now? Three wins, ten losses. You can still do it on your hand. That's pretty good, man. If you can count the losses on both hands, it's a good season in Cleveland. One more loss, though, we're fucked. All right, guys, thanks for watching.